Kaushik Roy is a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Purdue University. He's also the director of the Center for Brain Inspired Computing, a $32 million project that brings together nine universities and 140 PhD students, and which is funded by the Semiconductor Research Corporation and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Professor Roy is a world leader in low power and energy efficient circuit and system design. His current research focuses on cognitive algorithms, circuits and architecture for energy efficient neuromorphic computing and neuromimetic devices. Kaushik has supervised 100 PhD dissertations and his students are now pursuing successful careers in academia and industry. We all know that AI and deep learning made a huge amount of progress in the recent past. However, the biological systems uh, still possess a level of functionality that is quite unmatched in these artificial systems. Now, consider the reactive behavior of a fruit fly that has about 100,000 neurons or so. They fly fast while avoiding you know, obstacles in a cluttered environment, and they do all those with a few microwatts of power consumption. Whereas if you look at the artificial systems of today, they require watts of power consumption, and they certainly do not have the capabilities that the fly has. So in my research group, we are trying to address these problems um, to enable autonomous intelligence systems by improving the compute efficiency and the robustness of cognitive tasks through a cross-layer innovation, which goes all the way from uh, you know, efficient learning algorithms to sensors and also hardware that can efficiently implement these algorithms. So we are looking at various application scenarios, starting from vision problems that include understanding scenes, detection and recognition of objects using, uh, you know, foveation, saccades, uh, autonomous flying uh, with uh, multimodal sensors. And we're also looking at and developing, you know, device technologies that can mimic the neurons and synapses uh, with higher fidelity and more efficiency than standard CMOS technology. My relationship with uh, Ar Arhus University started probably about five years ago. Um, you know, I started working with Professor Farshad Muradi, uh, working on different proposals and papers and uh, working in the area of neuromorphic computing, uh, both on the algorithm and the hardware side of things. Professor Roy has left huge impact on society and the scientific community. He has received uncountable awards and honors. His many grants and 27 patents demonstrate his impact. His influence has enriched the academic community at Aarhus University, sparking creativity and pushing boundaries. Today, we honor Professor Kushak Roy for reshaping the future of computing, driving progress and inspiring generations to come. It was uh, in 2009 that I was with uh, Professor Kaushik Roy's lab at uh, Purdue University. In general, um, uh, Kaushik's dedication to uh, uh, pushing the uh, technology boundaries uh, left me a lasting impression, and that was the basis of uh, how to establish a successful lab. On the um, non-scientific part also, we had a lot of fun there, together with the team and uh, uh, Koshik. We were playing uh, football two, three times uh, a week, and even we attended uh, a university league, uh, and we went to final, but I remember we lost 6-1 to one to another team. Today, um, the prospect of collaboration is uh, much more exciting than ever because uh, Koshik Roy is working extensively on brain smart computing, and we are working on uh, brain implants and bringing these two together can revolutionize the field of uh, brain-computer interfaces.